Hello everyone. Today, let's understand the difference between Azure SQL and SQL Managed Instances. Here, I'm in my create a resource page. I'm going to search for managed instances here. Um, and I'm getting Azure SQL Managed Instances. If I go here, I can see a high level description of what managed instances are. The key point that you should understand is that this is highly compatible with Azure SQL Enterprise that you have on your on-premise environment. The key problem that this solves is that um, the organizations that wants to migrate from their on-premise databases to Azure, this will make it much easier for them to migrate to Azure. Because if you have been working with Azure SQL databases for some time, you know that Azure SQL is missing some features that you have in your on-premise environment. And here, they have all those features. They, this helps organizations to migrate the on-premise workloads, on-premise SQL Server workloads to Azure. So if you go here to this page, this will list down all the differences um, of Azure SQL versus SQL managed instances. And if you go back to this page, the next key point is that this is not a public resource. This is a, usually this is deployed in a isolated virtual network and Azure SQL does not support that feature. So if I go here and click on create, uh, you can select the resource group, you can enter the uh, managed instance name and you can select the region and if you go here the compute and storage section one difference that you might notice is that it doesn't have the DTU model and even if I select the cheapest one I still get a, a pretty big uh, monthly cost because this is mainly targeted towards big corporations that wants their on-premise workloads on Azure. So that's why the cost is pretty high and if you already have an SQL Server license you can uh, you know you'll get a reduced cost. So if I'm going to click apply here the next setting here is that I have to um, create an account So if I go here, the next tab, the uh, the networking configuration, as you can see, this is mainly targeted towards virtual network kind of a setup. Also, you can enable this public endpoint and you can configure, you can basically um, create an NSG inbound traffic rule to access it from public. I'm not going to do that now. So um, so the next thing is, these are the, uh, the normal database settings, the collation and um, geo-replications and things like that and uh, i'm not going to insert any tags here and then um, i'm going to create the database and one thing to notice is that this will take a long time to complete so for example they here say that it's uh it's for six hours but usually it's uh it differs but uh, this takes um, a long time so i'm going to create it here all right now it's creating uh, when you want to access this database using ssms let's say uh, you, you cannot just access it from public. What you can do is you can create a virtual machine and uh, access it from there. Now you have an understanding on what managed instances are. Hope you learned something new today. If you have any questions or comments, you can leave them below. And if you want to be updated with what I'm doing, you can subscribe to my channel as well. And thanks for watching.